Creek with Creek Bank Creations. Notice I don't have my cowboy hat because I forgot it you and we're on the road. I forgot. So some of you have probably never seen me without my cowboy hat. This is me. Uh, hey, we're, we're glad to have you. And I forgot to turn my phone off, which always gets me in trouble. But nevertheless, hey, uh, Julie and I are on the road in beautiful Clearwater, Florida, coming at you live. We just got in and uh, we're a little bit uh, hurried on this because uh, we literally just got in and got unpacked and uh, we forgot some, of, we our forgot some of our crucial equipment so we had to stop by the local walmart and pick up some tripods and things so if you would please have patience with us tonight we'd greatly appreciate it but we're glad to have you we're going to try to get through this and have a great time uh we uh, since we're in clearwater i'll tell you about the clearwater show that we're doing that's that's going to be uh hello sharon hello kathy okay. uh, we are going to be at. Um, I don't see how you how you. Then don't worry about it. It'll be okay. okay. I'll get it. Okay. Um, we're going to be at uh, the Matthias Hall, uh, in um, Clearwater on this Saturday, the thirteenth. Come and see us. Don't forget the key word for you listeners of ours who are special when you use the word. Hoochie-coo! Hoochie-coo! You're going to win a special prize. Okay. So, the key word's hoochie-coo. Now, don't tell all your friends. It's exclusively for you guys who listen, okay? Because we wanted to do something special for you. All right? So, tonight, this card is really cool. This is called a messy desk card, okay? Now, it's called Tom's desk. Or some people call it. My, my daughter-in-law calls it Tom's desk, okay? Uh, I'm not used to the swivel chair. I'm kind of dancing all over the place here. Maybe I ought to get one of those next time. Sharon said cold in Texas. Cold in Texas. It was 82 and sunny here in Clearwater. Uh, But it rained all the way down from Valdosta, Georgia, nevertheless. But anyway, anyway, back to the messy desk card or Tom's card. It's got the cork bulletin board there. And we use the, the tiny tacks from the tiny tools die. Honey, I've got that flyer right here underneath the laptop. It's called Mini Tools. It's the Mini Tools die. There's the Mini Tools die. And uh, that's that's a $12.99 die. Use the discount, uh, the 2021 coupon code, you get 15% off on that. And then we open that up, and then we use the cork in the back. Minus one in Minnesota. Oh, negative oh. one in Minnesota. That's, you realize that's, a, that's an 83 degree difference in temperature. Wow. Anyway, she said there's she the messy like some part. mini sports dies. Mini sports dies. So, does she want them all on one or separate dies? Also, part, who who did? Who does? Judy said Judy. she would love some mini sports Mini dies. sports dies. What sports? So, Do you want baseball, uh, uh, soccer, football, and hockey all on one mini? Is that what you're thinking? Boston. Or volleyball? Let me grab this. Don't forget the typewriter bundle special, okay? Because it's the series in February... Uh, you're going to save almost 30 bucks. You're going to get uh, the uh, uh, the typewriter die. You're going to get the uh, um, happy mail with love oh, die. You're going idea. to get the um, rubber stamp, the going postal rubber stamp, uh, the uh, typewriter script, and uh, you would like all kinds of balls. Okay. We you, can do that. You got them, Judy. Or work. We got tennis balls, volleyballs, it, baseballs. It's in balls. the it's in the works, Judy. Anyway, it's a uh, hundred oh, and uh, Gene Stalker is here tonight. Hey, Gene, it's a hundred and twenty dollars special for only um, ninety dollars and ninety nine cents. Plus, you get the PDF on how to put these together, and if, uh, that comes with it, which is four ninety nine value. Plus, uh, you also get Jesus Coffee and a card. Uh, it comes with it at uh, worth throwing it in. Uh, so if you have any questions about what comes in that bundle, because I don't have all my regular paperwork with me, uh, hold it, I've got it right here. Excuse me. Pardon me, Julie. Sorry. We're in a little cramped headquarters here in the hotel room. You are going to get the typewriter bundle special. It includes the typewriter pop-up die, the postage edge die, the going postal stamp, just a note stamp, the typed background stamp, the Relax Stamp, and the Wreath Maker Sentiment Stamp. Uh, what and, you are not getting is what you need to talk about. Oh, what you're not getting, it, the um, Going Postal rubber stamp you're getting, correct? Is that right, That's Julie? correct. They are getting the... 
We also have a matching going postal die, That's right. but that does not come with the special we because didn't, we didn't we use didn't it with the it. cards. But if you want that, you can get that for 15% off if you use the coupon code 2021. Tom needs to color his hair. Need to color my hair? You don't, you don't like the color of my hair? Are you saying that that's Please. silver? My dad used to say that he earned every one of those gray hairs. I'm not sure if I earned mine, but nevertheless, I'm, I have them whether I want them or not. Um, and let's see here. Anything else, Mrs. Creek, we got going on? We're excited to be down here. Um, uh, it's nice to get away from the cold weather. Uh, and we're glad to have you all tonight. Uh, and we're going to have fun. Mrs. Creek, you ready? I am typing. She's answering a question. Okay. Um, I put the blog spot address. My on. dad did earn every one of them, Judy. He sure did. <laughs> and Mrs. Creek is still doing her Do last bit of prizes? Prize. Do we have prizes? We don't have any prizes to give away? Oh, wow. boy. Mrs. Creek, we, uh, uh, I don't even have any questions, but I'll see what I can do. We'll get, we'll get some okay, questions Okay, we'll figure here. it out. Uh, okay. But we'll be working on that. So with no, I, out any further ado. Here's a question. We've got a flying off the cuff tonight, if you haven't noticed. Yes. <clears throat> Go. I'm Get out, out of there. I'm out of here. Out of there. I lost the caps of my pen. Don't worry about it. I might need it. Okay. You. Okay. I can go by. Greetings, crafters. Today has been an adventure. We, uh, I, I came without the camera mount and um, the lighting in this. Um, the, by the way, the hotel room is very nice. If you're in, if you're coming to the. Where are we at? Stamp, Clearwater, Florida. Stamp Fest show yeah, in Clearwater. Yeah. <clears throat> They've redone this hotel. The well, hotel is very nice. Wyndham. It is a La Quinta. We're at a La Quinta? Well, it, it is called a La Quinta, but it's owned by Wyndham now. So, anyway, the, they, they've upgraded the hotel. It's very nice. So, um, it's just not set up for filming. So, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm hopeful that we can actually pull this off tonight because um, I don't know if we can pull it off. Tom said we, we should try. So you know how Tom is. Damn the torpedoes. That's, his, that's his motto. That's why he has gray hair. <clears throat> so I have a scripture to share with you tonight. Are you ready? I see everyone is, there's cold weather going on. Um, Hope says, glad to see you traveling. It, I got to tell you, Hope, um, we haven't been out on the road since October? November. November. Well, November, we went to Indianapolis, so that's really not like traveling. That's like in our backyard. Um, but it is a weird world. And yes, I am feeling better, head cold clearing up. Um, but it's a, it's just a, it's, it's a, it's really a weird world to travel in now. And um, I'll have to be honest with you, it makes me sad, the world that we're living in now. Um, but there's nothing we can do about it. So, Jean, you're both sick. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm glad you're with me tonight, but I'm sorry that you're not feeling well. <clears throat> and I hope that you both get feeling well soon. Tom and I both got like this, like head cold thing last week and I got it. And then because I'm, you know, I'm the kind of woman who I want to share everything I have mm -hmm. with the man mm -hmm. I love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I gave it to Tom and he missed the grandkids birthday party because, um, he was sick. He didn't want me to tell you that. He didn't miss the party. He was there. He missed the party. But we're better now. Thank the Lord. Okay, Psalm 910. Everyone can use a good psalm in their life, right? Those who know your name trust you because you have not abandoned any who seek you. Isn't that good? Psalm 910. Those who trust your name. Though, <laughs> let's try that again. Those who know your name trust you because you have not abandoned those who seek you. Psalm 910. So what's interesting about that is, did you catch that? There's a little promise there. You are not abandoned if you seek the Lord. I like the scriptures that have like the little promise with them. And that one, there's a promise. If you seek the Lord, you will not be abandoned. So even though we're all going through um, difficult things and everybody in this country is kind of going through different things at different times and 
Um, the Lord promises all of us that if we seek him, we are not abandoned. So I encourage you tonight, if you're struggling, reach out and seek the Lord because he promises that you will not be abandoned. If the Lord would write you a letter and send it to you in the mail, oh, I wish I had this for a stamp. He would write it, and on that typewriter, on that little note right there, it would say, you are not abandoned. <clears throat> Wouldn't that be good to get a letter from the Lord? Open it up. Guess what? You do have a letter from the Lord. It's called the Bible, and in Psalms, it says, you're not abandoned. Mm, like that. Like that. Like that. Okay. Enough Enough of that good stuff. What do you think of that, Tom? That was good. That was good, wasn't it? It was good. That was, good. That was, was really good. good. If the Lord was going to write you a letter, it would be a Bible, and when you open it, it would say, you are not abandoned. You know, if we fill our brain with more of that and less of that um, negative thing they call news... Our life would be so much better. So tonight, we are going to work on the messy desk card. Now, I'm just going to tell you, I don't know if this is going to work when I go to pull this camera down. <clears throat> so I'm going to do as much of it up the t with the camera up like this tonight before I go moving the camera. I'm not going to move it yet because who knows what's going to happen when we move that camera. So um, we are working when, when you... We're working from the typewriter bundle, and when you purchase the bundle from us, you get the instructions included. Okay, so the bundle comes with all that merchandise that Tom talked about and the written instructions. If you don't want to purchase the whole bundle and you like, you would like to cherry, it's called cherry pick, which means pick out the products you want. Um, the great thing is, if you just want to go to the website and purchase the instructions, you can do that. They're on the website, and we will leave them on the website indefinitely for you. It's a PDF file with many pages of instructions. And um, we also have, there's a YouTube video out there, so there, there are options. You have options. So tonight, we're going to start with a standard A2 card base. So let me get my, my paper here. And we are going to work on the outside of that card base. And what is super clever, by the way, I cannot take credit for this card. Um, Diane Morris did this um, card for us. And she just has no idea how meaningful this is to me. Actually, if you want to know the truth, if this were Tom's desk, there would need to be <laughs> more paper on the desk because like you can't see the desk but anyway this is i i'm like oh my gosh this was a perfect card for our family because of the mess that goes on so on the outside of this card we are going to decorate the outside first and we are using a card base of cream cardstock and the cream cardstock is 5.5 by 8.5 and we're folding it in half and then we're going to take the navy card stock back here, and we're going to cut that 3.75 by 5 and adhere it to our card. And then we're going to take the light gray card stock, and we're going to stamp a background. Now, when we stamp this background, what we're going to do is ink up our stamp. I'm going to grab my stamp platform. <clears throat> and we're going to stamp it off on some scrap paper first, because we don't want a really dark heavy image for that background we want a little um a softer touch for it so we're going to ink up the stamp and we're going to stamp off on a scrap piece of paper and then we are going to stamp on our piece that we are going to put on our card so let me find all my pieces here get my stuff together there's my background here we go Okay, so we're using a gray piece of paper or a light tan, 3.5 by 4.75. Tom, are you ready? I'm ready. To, no, we're going to try to pull this camera down, so hang on. Ready? <clears throat> yep, I'm ready. How's the light? Um, I think the light's okay, but the problem is... <clears throat> gonna hang on, hang on. Okay, so 
we are. Um, Is it right where it don't? This has to come around. Okay. And can you lift it way, mm -hmm. way up? Oh my goodness. Hmm. Okay, there's our card. Okay, I need a, a yes or a no, ladies. Can you talk to me? Okay, I need a, a yes or a no. Oh, that's way too loud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I need a yes or a no. That's a quite an echo there. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, what do we, can you see what's going on? I'm still looking for trivia questions, but I, okay. I will go to that. It's too close. Okay, Diane Wilcox, I hear you. We'll try to adjust. I need help. Yeah. So, the problem is going to be getting it pulled down. Hang on. How about that? What was that noise? That's the volume on the phone that got left on. Do you have to hold it there? No. Okay. Ooh, you're looking okay, how does that Ooh, look? Can I get a yes or a no from you guys? Better? There. Christine, we are. Christine said you're there. We uh you're we have very there. limited resources here, so we're gonna do our best here. Okay, can you um hand me over there, Tom? Okay, so I've got my paper in the background, and I am going to stamp that. Now, when I stamp this, we are using that background stamp, and I want to try to cover nearly the whole entire stamp with that stamped image. So I'm going to just use a little piece of tape out on the edge so we can try to get that whole background on there. It's okay. Okay, we're, we'll do our best. We are working with very strange resources here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set, I have my um, scrap piece of paper here and I'm going to set that scrap piece of paper right on the edge because I am going to put my stamp, set my stamp up. And so I'm I'm just going to set that right on there. And the, you know, the fun thing about action here. So I'm going to pull this away because I, I think I'm going to have to. Yep. I'm going to pick up my stamp and open up my stamp platform. And I have to pull this board out because if I don't, I'm going to hit the camera. Okay. So we're going to ink and stamp. And um, I have dark blue ink that I'm working off of now so I'm going to ink up my stamp over here and then we're going to stamp <clears throat> and we're going to stamp off on that scrap scrap piece of paper first there we go and get rid of some of that extra because we really just want a background and there's my background. Now, I am going to pull this piece of tape off just so we make sure that we don't get that edge. I'm going to get it right on the edge. Okay, and we're going to stamp. So, my magnets are in the way of the edge there. There we go. And this stamp is um, meant to be a bit of a distressed typewriter. So it's not meant to actually be actually perfect. The letters are a little distorted. It's just a fun typewriter background. And that is my background. Now we are going to adhere that to our craft card dock. And we're going to work on building that little front panel. So I'm going to put adhesive on the back and adhere that to my card. How are you doing, Thomas? We're doing fine. Okay. Yes. I'm still looking for typewriter trivia stuff. Yeah, you're looking good. You could do, um, what grade did... 
Never mind. I'm, who? I'm, I'm, who? I'm how honest. come? I'm honest. How here. come Julie did not get a good grade in typing? You could do that question. I don't know that answer. Yeah. You know that answer? There were boys involved. Oh. There were boys in my typing class. Is this going to be an easy one for them to figure out? No, no, I'm, I'm joking. But oh. seriously, I, I didn't do very well in typing because football players sat behind me. And I was way too infatuated with football players uh -huh. to be concerned about typing class. Gotcha. <laughs> I did not understand why typing was important when there were, when there were attractive boys right there. Like, really, did typing matter? We're going to adhere that to our card front. And then <clears throat> we have a blue piece of paper, 2.5 by 3. We're going to set that in the cor upper corner. And then we have um, the self-adhesive cork cut. And you can purchase this on the website. It has a sticky back on it, and this one is cut to size. So you can cut the cork, or you can um, die cut it. We're going to put that right. The cork is 2.25 by 2.75, and we're going to put that right on there, and that's going to make it look like we have a bulletin board. So, you know, there's tons of different ways you could decorate this. We've done this as um, the messy desk, but you could do all kinds of fun things with the cork and give it to a girl and put flowers on it, all kinds of cool things. Okay, so let's put tape on the back of this, adhere this to our card front. That's pretty simple. Now, we are going to add the little tacks to the front and the little uh, thanks so much sentiment to the front. And the thanks so much sentiment comes off of the wreath maker sentiment set. And that set has many different sentiments on it that are perfect for the typewriter because the sentiments are small. So it works great for this, but it also works great for um, the um, inside of the typewriter. If you saw... On our um, Facebook page this week, I did a graduation typewriter card, and I used the Wreath Maker sentiment stamp for the inside of the typewriter, and it says, oh, yes, you did. And I put the little um, graduation mini die with it. Super cute. Okay, there we go. Now we need to add some little tacks. So these are actually the little nails that came out of the mini tool set. Look how little they are. Um, so I die cut these with our super tacky tape on the back. And if you do not have these, um, this is an awesome tool set. But, you know, I know you can't own everything. So you could use a brad you might have in your stash. Or um, you could use... A, black self-adhesive pearl, lots of options that you could do for this if you don't have this. I'm going to pull this off. And then this will be our card front, so we're going to stick that to the card. Now, I will, um, I'm making this for Tom, I would change that front sentiment because um, I could say, Thinking of you and then open it up and messy desk would be right there. That would be appropriate, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> so, Tom's office <clears throat> at home um, actually opens up right into the living room. So, it well, seemed... Possible, yeah, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but then... Now that I have to look at the desk, that's a whole nother thing. So <laughs> <laughs> there is my card front. We're going to adhere that right to the card front. And that, my friends, was the simple part, right? And this is an A2 card. Hello, Beverly. How many people are in the feed that we will see this weekend? Can you say yes if, if you're going to be? Give me a yes or no for this weekend. 
be interesting to see how many of you we will end up seeing. There's our card front. Now, we're going to move to the inside. So we are going to take... So our, our card stock, our light gray card stock for the inside is going to measure 5.25 by 8.25. Got some no's. It's okay if you're not coming. I, you know, some people, it's a long, long drive. Others um, don't feel comfortable getting out yet, and that's okay. California, higher restrictions. Yeah. So, okay, so we have our, our piece here, 5.25 by 8.25. This is going to go on the inside of our card. We are going to take a pencil and mark this at 1 and 1 eighth and set the die on it. Now, let me get the die out. Let's see, I have a mess over here. And let's look at the die. So this die, here's our die pieces. Let's talk about these. This is your um, piece of paper that goes on the inside of the typewriter. So I designed this die so that if you wanted to have a really long piece of paper and write a message on it, it has a stopping point. So when you put that in a typewriter, it will stop. If you want to leave it loose and pull on it, it'll have a stopping point. So what I really like to do when I make this card is to make a make a message for someone and roll it up in the base and then they can pull it out. So if you use this die, it gives you a stopping point. You don't have to. If you want to just cut a rectangle, you can do that too. Okay. This little piece right here is the... Um, the plate for the keys to go on. The keypad is what it's called. Okay, and we're going to put the keys on it. And these are your little dies for the keypad. So you can die cut this and pull those off. And those will be your keys. And what we're suggesting is that you take this die and cut it on clear acetate and then go back over and center this the keypad on there and die cut and then you have a pattern so when you go to put your piece together you can lay that on top of the keypad set your keys on there and it'll be straight every time and you can see I outline mine with a marker just so I can see now that leaves us with the typewriter die so we will look at that and we are going to mark our paper at the center point, which is four and one eighth. And I want to show you this. You know, um, if you watch videos very much with me, you know, if I'm going to make a card over and over, I make a jig, and that's a cheat sheet. I always make it on orange cardstock. Most of the time, when you make this card, you're probably going to make it as an A2 card like this. And then, um, so these are your measurements. It's an A2 card, 5.5 by 8.5. And if I'm going to make the typewriter card on the inside, I'm going to cut that paper 5.25 by 8.25. And I'm going to set the die at 4 and 1 eighth, which is what I have here. Here's my paper cut. I'm going to mark 4 and 1 eighth. And I'm going to set the typewriter right on those lines and I'm going to die cut. In this case, I die cut before I left home. So here's what I want to show you. If you make the jig, you can set this on your card and you can literally use it as your template every time. So you can set that on the edge, pull that off and die cut. And you can know every time that you have it set on the center, you do need to center it side to side as well. So in this case, I already die cut it. That's our basic shape there, okay? And then you'll have those pieces that fall out, your middle pieces. So now we are ready to fold. And we are going to take, what, what we have found helpful when we're ready to fold is to take your ruler, and I think I lost my other ruler, Thomas. Here it is. 
Thank you, ruler. And we're just going to start at the very top, and we're going to train the folds. Oh, before we get going too far, we need to clip. So train. when train the fold. Train the fold. when the um, die was made, we need a straight cut line right through here. Okay, the die manufacturer could not put those die lines that close together, so you'll line coming down and that is totally clipped off right there okay right through there super simple okay now I've also found it helpful if you take your knife and make that straight cut line come all the way up to that fold it helps it fold a little bit better just give yourself a little bit of cut right into that had some trouble getting those eye lines exactly where we wanted them because of the complex nature of this peppy so we're going to just train, we're going to pull that gently forward. And right now we're not really trying to crease anything. We're just training folds. So we're going to come right down the typewriter and we're going to hit every one of those folds with the edge. I have my ruler here. Diane found it helpful to use a piece of chipboard. So whatever you have around that you think will work. And I, you see how I'm just training those folds. Training. They're, we're training for raining is what we're doing. Hey, do we have a teacher at the Akron show? Are we having a, do we have a teacher? Akron. Teachers, teachers, uh, adventures in Stanford? Yes, we do. Yvonne. Is it Yvonne? Yvonne. Mm -hmm. is, is she already on the schedule? As far as I know. Okay. And but I don't know, is she made this show live? Pardon me? I don't know if that show is um, live yet. Well, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's online. Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, I've seen it online. Okay, well, we'll have to double check on that, but we do have, Yvonne has a really nice class. Yes, teaching yes. with our product. Yes. To tell everybody that because yes. people are Yes, Yvonne is teaching um, Adventures in at Adventures in Stamping in April, and she's, te I think she's teaching two classes. Is he teaching on Friday the 23rd? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm Saturday sorry. Saturday I don't, I, I don't, I do not remember off the top. Is Yvonne here crops a lot? Is crops a lot in the feed tonight? I don't know. So crops a lot. If you're hanging out, let us know. So we will have to check on that and get back with you. I thought she was doing two classes for that show, and she's teaching it. Um... Stanfest or not Stanfest, but uh, <laughs> the one in, in uh, Sharonville. Stamp away. Stamp, Stamp away. away. Stamp yes. Away. So I'm Stamp putting away. tape all around the edge, but I am not putting tape on the middle fold. We want to put a break there. So I'm taping all the way around. I didn't know that she had officially launched that show yet. Oh, yeah. She's got a countdown clock. Okay. All right. So there we go. We have our tape all the way around our edge. And then what we're going to do is take the ruler and those pieces that are folding back in, we're going to push the other way. So the second one and the fourth one. And you can look at your instruction sheet. Diane made um, really good instructions. It's, the video is really, it's really coming out really good on the video. Well, there's miracles that happen every day, right? Yeah. There we go. So we're just training them. Now I'm going to turn this back over. Mm -hmm. training them, baby. And training them. Um, the suggestion playing box, playing. from Diane, who is brilliant, is that you start with your first fold down here and you slip a pencil in there. Okay. Now I don't have a pencil tonight. I have a pen. So we're going to use a pen. And then we're going to take this one up here. This is the other piece that we need to pop forward. <clears throat> and we're going to put a pen in that one. So you just want to be really gentle with this when you get go until you get it really, until you train those folds. And you see that close up, how that's looking. Okay, now here's the other thing I like to do. I take my ruler right in here and I place it up against here and that, give, that will give you the ability to get a really good clean fold. Can how are they looking? How's they it looking? looking good We're until, looking okay. Until I, I boogered up my YouTube thing and I had to Okay. They're all over again. Okay. Not good. So we're just gonna gently train those folds, pull those folds forward. If you keep that ruler in there, that'll keep you um, having a really nice, crisp, clean um, corner right in here, right in the bottom. So you just kind of 
keep it working it. And then when you feel like you have it, I like to pull out my pen and then I'm gonna fold this for pull this forward with my two fingers and take my ruler and fold that forward. And that's gonna give me a nice clean fold at the bottom. Does that make sense? Can everybody see that? Okay, now we're gonna take that out. We're gonna make sure this is a good clean fold here. Work on training that. And then we're gonna clean up the fold at the top. And it's this one you can kind of pinch it from the back, pull it from the front. Okay, there we go. And then when I go to fold this, I do like to keep my ruler in there and fold this whole thing down and train. Just continue to train those folds until you get them where you want them. Now, what we need to do is get that center fold going too. Tom, did you, did you know we were doing a center fold tonight? A center fold. So we're gonna fold that as well. A center fold. And I am going to slide my ruler in there to keep that typewriter from getting all mangled. Push that down and then we're gonna fold. There we go. And we wanna line up Kathy these two Grisha corners. The pen the ruler to train her husband. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Are we gonna do a Zoom class on that? And that is how you get your fold. So take your time, mess around, fold, like I folded the front and then I turned it over and folded the back. I really recommend, if you get the typewriter die, to get the instructions because Diane Morris did a fantastic job with the instructions and you have the bonus that Diane um, Wilcox did the video, which is excellent. Now we had that base and now you can see how we can um, slip our typewriter right in there and we have our piece ready to go. Now we have to decorate our typewriter, don't we? Yes, we do. So, um, this typewriter, we need a keyboard. Do you have a keyboard on your typewriter, Tom? Do I have a keyboard on my typewriter? Yes. Oh my gosh. I don't have a typewriter. Yes. But... <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. All right. Here are my little keyboard pieces. Yeah, little keyboard pieces. Do you have questions? Questions. Are, I, I'm going to assemble the keyboard. Ready for trivia? Questions? Yes. Do you okay. have a trivia? Yes, I do. Are you coming I over? I'm going to give away one of those uh, mini tool dies. Okay. okay. That's a great set. That, yeah, the mini tools. Yeah, one of those mini tool dies. Yes. It's, uh, it's a $12.99 die. Uh, okay. Can you all hear me? Okay. Right? Hold on before he does that. I'm going to put the... I. This is the keypad piece. I'm going to put the keys on the keypad while he's doing his thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, if most of you probably learned how to type in high school on the IBM Selectric typewriter, oh I mean, that puppy was just a humming machine. Unless for... you had really attractive boys sitting behind you. And then you didn't and learn to type on a you really didn't learn selectric. typing. Well, I, I don't know why I didn't learn when flirt, I was in there, but I learned the home row and with, that's all. With uh, football players. But in that's what, I learned. what year did IBM quit producing the... IBM Selectric, which they produced for 50 years, and how many did they sell in 50 years' time? So, what year, year and how many? Okay, got my pattern, and we're going to set our pieces on there. Now, when I die cut these, I have my super tacky tape on the back. Set them on there. Lois back is the winner again. Lois, Lois you're so is so doggone lucky. And Lois, Lois thank you so queen, much for the, the queens of trivia. Thank you Lois so back. much for the cards that you've been making. Lois has been sharing her cards on um, the creativity group. So if you're not in the Creek Bank Creations creativity group, you can join that group. And then when you make cards, you can post them. It is fun to see what everyone is creating and working with. So I'm just putting that now in this case, I have die cut these with my super tacky tape. Yes, crafters, in 1984, after 50 years of manufacturing the IBM Selectric typewriter, they quit, they just quit making typewriters well, because of the computer. 
1984. Yeah, that's interesting. And uh, they made 13 million. Wow. Machines. That's a lot of typewriters. That's a lot of typing. <clears throat> so, hmm. I'm, I might have been in like the almost the last era of girls that actually took typing class instead of like computer class. Because we literally, I mean, I was literally in the class. I graduated in 1984. Indeed, you did. So I was right on the edge. Okay, there's my keys on my keyboard. And we are going to. <clears throat> Take that, and you'll notice, I'm going to go ahead and peel the back off of this and set this in my card at the bottom. Lois, we will send you the Tiny Tools die. Does she have it? Lois, do you already have the Tiny Tools die? So, I'm sorry, I better make sure you can see this. I'm just setting that in and centering it. You do have it? Mm. Okay, Lois. Do you want another one, or do you want me to send you a surprise substitute? So, this has little tabs on it. We're going to pull fold those tabs in, and we're going to slide that in that little okay. slot right there. And then you can reach your little fingers in there and pull those tabs out, and that will hold your little keyboard for you so that it moves and opens and closes this i'm sorry this makes me so happy tom did i mention this makes me happy, happy? okay happy so happy. this is our um our our text that we're going in is you need to get more center sorry more yeah talk to me baby um it says for some things there just are no words and this is why you would really think that this was designed especially for tom <laughs> because there really are no words for what happens in his office. He has right, two chairs in his office, and most of the time I cannot sit on the chairs. Well, okay, now, this is the rail that's going on the front of the typewriter, and I have one that has super tacky tape on it and one that doesn't. And you know what? This might be a problem. Because I did not bring glue dots, and I do not think I brought liquid glue either. We might have a problem. Really? Yep. Houston? Houston, we might not be able to glue the rail on. We'll see. We'll have to see here. We might have to get creative. Okay, let's look. Here, I'll let you. you no, I don't. I'll, I'll, I'll try to use tape. Okay, so we need to adhere the rail onto these two little tabs that are right here. Okay, can you see that? So I'm gonna put a piece of tape here and I'm gonna tape my little saying in place. Lois mentioned this week that it's important to get that figured out before you go nailing everything down. So we're gonna put that on. And I normally would be using like liquid glue or um, glue dots for this, but I managed to come without them. There we go. So this sentiment is perfect for this. Some things there are no words. It's off of the Relax stamp, which is one of my favorite stamps because it has the flip-floppy sayings on it. Okay, I'm going to take a little bitty piece of tape. We're going to try this with a little piece of tape. We'll see how... Uh, we'll cut your you don't cut scissors? your finger. No. Do I don't know. I'm trying to cut, I'm trying to get a little piece of tape. Okay. There we go. Yep. So, um, it should be interesting tonight. Did you hear the wild hooligans running around in the hall? I heard wild screaming children. Yes. Wild screaming there were, children. There were a lot of children when we came in tonight. So, let's hope that the children go to bed. Indeed. And are not running in the hall like they were earlier. Okay, we're going to put another piece of tape on the other side of those two little tabs. Now, I like to leave the tabs sticking out. Can they see the tabs? See this little tab right here? I like to leave it sticking out. Diane liked to adhere it down, fold it in and adhere it down. So that just goes to show you, 
There's more than one way to do things, and you can do it the way you want to do it. There we go. Got little glue right on my little tabs. Look at you. Look at you. Woo. And we're going to center the rail on there. And that just that is just holding everything in place right on that little tab. And then if you wanted your paper to move in and out, you could, in this case, I put tape on it and we're, and we're stuck down. Now we, in order to finish this lovely piece of work that that creative Diane came up with, I need to find, I am looking for the rest of the cork for, to accent the top of this card. Hey, I have regular typing paper. There's cork right here. No, I'm looking for the long strips of cork. Do we not have them? Sorry, ladies. I know they're here. Just cut these. I can't. Okay, I can't find my cork. I know it's here, but I can't find it. I'll find it. So, That's um. What we're going to do is take our cork and go across the top of that card with a piece of cork that measures 5.25 by 5. We're going to do that side. pile right there. Our pro Part of our problem with this um, motel room situation that we're in is that it is so dark that we can't see anything. So this piece right up here, 5.25 by 5, and you can see... Um, we put the little nails on there and put the pieces of paper on there. So we will have to pretend because I cannot find the little pieces of cork. Oh, it's it's got to be here. Okay, so what we what Diane did was use little pieces of typing paper up there. And when you go to put the paper in the bottom, she just used regular typing paper. It's okay. And you can wad that up. If you use really thin typing paper, you won't have the bulk, and then you can add that right in there. Now, before I nail all this down, I'm gonna go ahead and peel that tape off and stick that tape, adhere that to the background, and we will have our card stuck together. Tom's still over here looking for the cork. So we're gonna stick that down. And that is your I'm card. Sure you so I can't, and I can't finish it off. Do you have another question? Yes. So yes. what you're going to do is put your cork in the top, put your paper in, wad up some paper, tape it in the bottom, and you have your awesome card for some things. There are no words. Um, Any questions? Yes, DDN. We are DDN. We are in Florida already. We are here in uh, we're actually broadcasting here from Clearwater. Yes, and so Live from Clearwater. we don't have our normal setup. We I accidentally came without the camera mount, so we've really we're trying to make do with what we have here. Okay. Next trivia question. This is for a typewriter guy. Do I dare pull that camera up? No. Not yet. Well, yeah. Why not? Okay. Yeah, Hang on, ladies. Can. I'm gonna pull the camera yes, up. Can. I'll do it. Yes, I'll do can. it. I can hold it. You can hold it. Okay. Yep. I got it. Actually, I think it'd be all right. Are you okay? Yeah. I think I'm good. Oh my gosh. I, I'm so happy that I made it through that. Hi. I know I lost the cork, but I okay. I did do the rest, and I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, come on. Where is the cork? I'm if you so saw this mess cork. around me, literally there's like two bedroom lights um, at, at the bed, and there's no lighting in here. So it's this is crazy. Thankfully, we have this one accessory. Okay, Mr. Creek. Okay. <laughs> enough, How much? Enough trauma. What was the weight... Of the very first Thank portable you, typewriter. What was the weight of How the first portable typewriter. typewriter? How much did it weigh? Thank you, Sarah. That was very kind. Very kind. I was. I was. I have to tell you, I was uh, slightly stressed about tonight because of everything. The first portable. How much does the vagabond machine weigh? Do we know? I do. It's portable. I know how much it The is. Vagabond. I know how much it is. Mm. He's not telling. He's not even telling. Mm. Does anybody still have a type? I guess we're still guessing. They are. Oh, I have. Oh, oh, oh. Yellow Rose one again. Sharon Malato. Yellow, Yellow Rose. Malato. 
Jerome, Yellow Jerome. Rose is rocking it. So it, we are excited to let you know that um, the Stamp Scrap Art Tour put out a schedule a few days ago. And so we um, there are shows coming on, and those shows start in July. And the Vagabond, yes. Yes, how much does the Vagabond weigh? 18.2 pounds in the box. 18.2 <laughs> pounds. How much does the typewriter weigh? 19 pounds. So the Vagabond is actually lighter go. than the first portable yeah. typewriter. Um, do you have the ability to pull up that show schedule? Which show schedule? The SSAT. We don't know which ones we're going to do. So we're yeah. Do yeah. <laughs> so if you're interested in going to a show, um, there are some shows coming on later in the year. So this is a good thing. Are we good? Yeah. Okay, so I, I don't know. Do you have a few days to play and relax? Judy, we are going, I don't we don't know what we're doing at this point. We might be we might stay down here for a few days, but if we do that, it means I have to do another live from the hotel room. And Boy, um, is that fun? It that's difficult, so I don't I don't know what we'll do. Um but we're we came down a couple days early, so we, we did come down a sunshine. few days early, so we could um, do some outlet shopping. Is what we came outlet for. Outlet shopping? I didn't come to do outlet shopping. <laughs> I, I want to put my toes in the sand or in the stuff. I came for the outlet shopping. Get some vitamin D and all that stuff. In everyone the... knows that when you travel, the reason you really travel is to do outlet shopping. Is that what that's the reason? <laughs> Okay. All right. Hey, All right. may the Lord keep you bless you. Thanks yes. for joining us tonight. Thank you so much for coming and hanging around with us. Can't wait to see you Saturday at Stamp Fest in Clearwater. Right. Thanks Bye. so much.